Hey everyone, we had a lot of fun here at Magnetic Valley Retreat in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and we are headed to Santa Fe. So come join us for our trip. <gasps> Brutus has a Santa Fe bandana. He does have a Santa Fe bandana. Let's get him a Was Santa. It's a Sedona bandana, but I feel like yeah. they're similar. It, it's it's very southwestern. Yeah. This is his fall apple picking bandana. Brutus. We're ditching the fall bandana and you're getting the Santa Fe bandana. Off to a great start. We made it like 15 feet and the bathroom door is open. That's not the bathroom door. I just thought I'd see if there's a little snack up available for us. What kind of snack? Here's some grapes. <laughs> Seems to be the only thing we got. We've got grapes and we have kiwi. Here's a little snack o for you. No, do you want the carrot instead? There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get us some blueberries too. There's blueberries. We have all sorts of fruit. We have pita bread. I said that funny, pita bread. <laughs> I thought you were like trying to think. We have that really good local jam from, I think the locals call it Ikea. Oh, it's from Ikea. <laughs> okay. The Lingdenberry jam. Second try, everything closed. Did you check the shower door? Closed. Refrigerator door? Locked. Bathroom door? Good to go. Bathroom cabinets? Yes, you actually left those open. <laughs> I would I, never. When I went back there when we to film, after we decided to film before we leave, the bathroom, both the bathroom cabinets were wide open and the roof vent was open. Impossible, I would never. I would never neglect to close all those before pulling out. I don't know what you saw. If you say so. Okay. All right, we're punching in Tulsa, Oklahoma into the GPS to get us on the way. How far do you think we'll drive? It's 418. We usually try to follow what we informally call the 303 rule. And that is we don't drive over 300 miles in one day and we try to get wherever we are in any given day by three o'clock. So pulling out at 418 is not in the spirit of the rule, but we do just want to get on the road. Otherwise we'd stay another night. And then, and then we'd stay another night. Right. We, last night we stayed another night. Yeah, we were supposed to leave yesterday morning and then it got to yesterday afternoon. We're like, okay, we'll just stay another day. And do we have a reservation for anywhere coming up? So you want to stay at a rest stop tonight? Yeah. Okay. Can you look up the nicest? Yeah. Okay. I'll find you the nicest rest stop in all of Oklahoma. It's Friday, Shabbat Shalom. We are at the Dignity Sculpture in South Dakota. The Dignity Sculpture is a 50-foot statue overlooking the Missouri River. The statue is meant to honor the heritage and the contributions of Native women to the state of South Dakota. We appreciate the fact that on all of our travels, we are on land that wasn't originally ours. This week, I am grateful for public art. Oftentimes, art is in a building where A, we can't take prudence, yeah. B, during COVID, we didn't want to go, and C, just inaccessible to a lot of people. For better or for worse, this is at a rest stop, but I think it's very accessible, it's beautiful, it's overlooking the Missouri River. Going back to New York, walking through Madison Square Park on my way to work, seeing the different art installations or Brooklyn Bridge Park. The one that says, yo, from Brooklyn, but boy, Oi, oi, oi. Why am I in Brooklyn? Oi. City Hall Park, there's all the installations. Oh yeah. Public art inspires conversation. I am grateful for rest stops. <laughs> we stop at a lot of rest stops. Rest stops are this gem of America on the interstate system. They all have picnic tables. They've all, with rare exception, been really clean. This one has hiking trails. There's a little museum, dog park, stump station. Some have fresh water. And there's always really interesting plaques. We should go check out more rest stops. That your takeaway? Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Brutus. Shabbat 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 Shalom. <laughs> What's happening? I've asked if we could just have the dealer fix that a hundred times, and you're like, no, I'm going to I fix am it. going to fix it. I know how. Knowing See, how I fixed and, it. Knowing how and doing it are two different things. All right, so where are we going to stay tonight? We are going to be near Tulsa, Oklahoma. And what did you find? Two options on freecampsites.net. So there's three options, but- Wait, what are you doing with your hand? The three? No, that's three. 
This is three. Three. Some of you didn't grow up next to a school for the deaf and it shows. Oh, is that ASL for three? Yes. Um, also how I just thought three was until... Well, no, because then the thumb, I can't. All right, next. So only two of them are, are options we will support, though. Right, so one is a Cracker Barrel? Yes. And we need to research their new stuff because are we are the gays still boycotting Cracker Barrel? I don't know. I I can't keep up with it anymore. Right. I if think we, we are were supposed to boycott them once, then they're still on my. Boycott. Well, no, because the point of a boycott is to make a statement, and then they <laughs> change their actions, and then you actually should re then reward them for doing the right thing if they did it in the right way for the right reason. The other two options are Camping World, which has electric cookups, and then the Hard Rock Casino and Cafe. I like going to see, how do I get the light on? Come on. Well, I will fix it. All right, we'll do this in the dark. Camping World has power and we do need to set up the little outdoor heater. It's 350 watts and it keeps the water inlet from freezing. It's gonna be 29 degrees tonight in Tulsa. Yeah. Or we can go to the casino and put $5 on red. You big gambler? I'm not a big gambler. You're not a gambler at all. No, I'm not a gambler. I get angry at penny slots. I can't gamble. So, but like if at two in the morning we're hungry, we can get a cheeseburger from the casino cheeseburger spot. Cause aren't, I mean, I'm picturing Vegas is the Tulsa, Oklahoma Hard Rock Casino as <laughs> filled with 24 hour food spots as Vegas. Let's go to the casino. Unless you think that's a bad idea. Casino is great. Okay. Casino it is. The Hard Rock Casino parking lot outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, it is. Very exciting. I was trying to think of a gambling phrase, I don't know. Uh, I'm all in on <laughs> <laughs> The uh, Hard Rock Casino and Cafe. Okay. Uh, and Cafe, I told you. And Camping World doesn't have a cafe. They do have popcorn usually. Yeah, they have popcorn. Remember that time I was so, so you angry? You sit there and eat popcorn for seven hours after you were waiting seven hours over your scheduled pickup time. Remember that time I was so angry that I just kept eating popcorn because I didn't know what else to do with myself? Yes. Yeah. I think, are we talking about the same time? Yes. Dropping the RV off for repairs at Camping World. Goodbye, Forrester. We're now going to be the Nissan boys for an indefinite amount of time until Camping World decides to be done with our repairs. Well, the right, right airbag shocks looked at. We need the toilet replaced because someone has been carrying around a 95 pound tub of face scrub. It's body. That it fell into the toilet. And it's body scrub and wrecked it. It's a sturdy container for the body scrub. The rear view camera, which is cracked somehow. Brake light on the back, which is getting dim. Black tank spray right. is broken and the gray tank needs to be resealed. How much do you think they'll have done in a month? I made very clear that I expect updates every two days and if it takes a week to get it on the lift, I'm going to be upset. Do you think he internalized my... I don't think he cares what you think. I don't think he cares that you're upset. You can call Marcus Lamonis is what you're about to say. <laughs> and they'll go to the helpline, you'll leave a message, and then no one will ever acknowledge this, it. The sign clearly says, call Marcus. We stopped by the RV to pick up some stuff. It has been three weeks, and they have replaced the brake light on the driver's side, and they've done an oil change. Uh, let's go. Let's keep driving. We are writing our review for the website of Whispering Oaks Gay Campground in Tennessee. Whispering Oaks. Whisper. I can't do the WH, like Stewie. Or I guess like the British. Whis whi whisk whispering. It seems oh. in twenty nineteen Cracker Barrel became okay with the gay. Like not evil or we just got over it? So as recently as two thousand and six their policy was to fire people for being gay. They had anti gay policies up until twenty nineteen when out of nowhere they told a pastor he was not welcome at their restaurant if he was going to be spreading anti gay speech. And then ever since then, they've now added protections for gay workers and people can use the bathroom they identify with. Okay, so, I mean, they're doing the bare minimum, which I guess <laughs> is... More than you can say for other well, places. Right, like, so should we reward that or should we... I don't want to go to Cracker Barrel. Let's go to Hard Rock. That Hard Rock is closer, so let's go to Hard okay. Rock. Okay, do you have... 
Ooh. <laughs> okay, I promise I'll fix that. Well, I'm still waiting for you to find the light I bought to replace it. It's in a box somewhere. I don't think so. What do you think happened to it? I don't know. You ordered it. No, we had two of them. They were sitting in boxes for a year. They were like that square one that had the blue light. The square one, I remember. You said it was a no-go. No, not for here. We were going to replace those Yeah, but with then it. you didn't like it. No, then you didn't want me to take things apart. No, you tried to take it no, apart. No, 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 no. You I, tried to take it apart. I, I did not. And then remember I did. I, I didn't because I was frustrated that you were so against the light that I couldn't even try. So if you recall, I, you tried to take the light out of the ceiling. And then when I reclined the chair, the speaker started crackling. And I said... <laughs> Please don't touch anything else electrical. <laughs> okay, that is vaguely familiar. Manually leveled the RV to zero, to perfection. Please don't move and make it go off balance on camera. We are both standing on one side of the RV, which could have something to do with this. But I choose to believe. We're trying to level in the parking lot of the Hard Rock Casino, in the parking lot designated for overnight RV parking, but also in a parking lot that has a 3% grade, so you can't possibly level success. Oh, we just did it? Well, I well, mean- We're in our fifth spot. Fifth spot. We found the only spot that is level side to side and less than two degrees front to back. How far off the ground do you think we are? Like, am I gonna break my leg if I step out of here? Brutus is not gonna be able to- What? Is it bad? Or the wheels are off the ground. I really don't like when they do that, but for one night, I guess it's fine. Should we go get food? It's dog friendly. The casino is? Yeah. This is a big treat because last time we were crossing the country, it was still, we couldn't go in anywhere. Um, I mean, we could with masks and everything, but Except we didn't. Except the casino in Biloxi we went into because they had a full RV park and you got to stay for free if you registered for a player's call. That was so nice that in Biloxi and it was on the water, you went in and registered for a player's card and took forever. And it was like, oh my God, is he gambling away the RV? No, I was buying his food. And it was so disappointing. The fries were so bad. Do you yeah, remember? I'm pretty sure they had to like go harvest the potatoes. I remember. Peel them. <laughs> it took forever and they weren't good. Slice them. It was this beautiful sunset and we sat on the water and we put together the Amazon sticky note printer, which I still love and use. You know, they don't make those anymore. Oh gee, I wonder why. It was really nice. And they had that like observation tower. Let's go get some food and let Brutus move his little legs. Little Bruno, you want to go move your little legs? You want to move your little legs, go to the casino? Friend, is this snow? No. <laughs> it's 60 degrees in New York right now. It's so cold out, it's snowing, and I'm in shorts. I'm not ready for a freezing weather. I, we were not supposed to be out in the cold. I don't have pants, I don't have a jacket, I don't have a scarf, I don't have gloves, I don't have a hat. My ears are cold. My sweater is just like, I mean, it's warm, but it's not like, he's Did not. Would you like to layer your sweaters? Yes, can I put a cashmere sweater over my polyester sweater? Yeah. Okay, where's my cashmere sweater? Right next to you where you took it, where you dropped it when you took it off earlier. I even am in my new jacket, but I have shorts on. So one step at a time. And then I left my gloves at the Italian restaurant. It's open we... one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's only open like select Tuesdays, most Thursdays, and then like Mother's Day Sunday. I'm pretty sure we're destined for a super C. I tried to get us to get a super C after the flood in Sugar Creek and you were all like, that's an irresponsible use of money. We could buy a home for what a super C costs. That's, I mean, and that is an irresponsible use of money. A super C costs more than many homes. As the super C I was looking at costs more than our condo. <laughs> She's by far the most successful American Idol contestant. Carrie Underwood. She's had more number one hits than Kelly, Kelly Clarkson. Has her own TV show. You know why I love Kelly Clarkson like so much? Because she has no controversy. She is 
non-controversial. She's just like not in the news for anything other than making music. Oh, I can't say who used to be on that list because I'll get canceled. But I used to like a long time ago was on that list and then she went and got herself. Okay, let's shut it just down. Let's just, she did not get herself. <laughs> When it comes to my list of celebrities who are controversial versus not controversial, something happened to her. You should just she, delete this footage she, and then remove it from recently <laughs> deleted it and then remove it from the cloud recently deleted it. If we get one waffle fry and one french fry, we can split it down the middle and both have some. We should just get two waffle fries because waffle fries are superior to french fries. Yes, like undoubtedly, but... If there's anything we've learned on this trip, other than like how to find a dump station in the middle of the desert, is you never know what you're gonna get when it comes to like french fries and waffle fries. And if we each get one, we're so, down to like one of them. Because the waffle fries could be mushy and soggy and the french fries could be like... If I look back, I'm not the pig out of it. French fries are disappointing probably 75% of the time. I don't think we've ever had bad waffle Yes, we did, like three weeks ago. You were so upset. And then I did when you were in New York and I was staying at the hotel in Chicago. Because the RV was in for repair. Chicago, I got, Illinois. I swear, if I have to put up with another video of, he knows it's Illinois. I'm from Illinois, people. Just like, <laughs> I, I handle the comments and you, friend, and hundreds of people were very upset. Not just the floor. It does match the forest. Hey, I'm Benji. I'm Brendan. And we are the Forester Boys. We've been traveling around the country in our RV, checking out all the gay campgrounds along the way, but we are actually not gay camping this weekend. We are in Chicago, Illinois, in a real house while our RV is being repaired. There is art on the wall behind us that is not hung up by a command strip. <laughs> there is lots happening here in the Midwest this weekend. Join the Show Me Bears of St. Louis for the annual Out of High Bear Nation event at Serenity Farms. Men 21 and up are invited to come watch men compete to be the next bear at their beach. There will also be an after dark movie night by the pool, hot bear merch for sale, and a fried chicken potluck. And if that's not enough hot meat for you, it really is a sausage fest over at Camp Buckwood. This annual tradition just gets beefier and better every year, just like the men of Indiana. Up at Camp It Outdoor Resort in the gay fantasy land of Saugatuck, Michigan, we are wrapping up Trans Awareness Week. All people 18 and up and their allies who want to meet and interact with new friends and who support equal civil rights for trans people are invited. Be sure to stay for the Fire and Arts Festival weekend, which kicks off at Camp It immediately after this festive week. Copper Cactus Ranch is back open, this premier Southwest gay camping resort in Queens Valley, Arizona. And this weekend is the monthly drum circle. Firelight flashes across rugged bodies in the cool desert. Closing his eyes, one man starts a simple rhythm. It's growing more complex, more heartfelt, as the others find their pulse, layering their beat over the changing rhythm. Positive energy. No, that's not a real thing. Let's keep going. I think it's delightful, positive energy. Every meal at Copper Cactus is available community style, cooked by the gourmet chef owner. In addition to the drum circle, on Friday night, there's a DJ in the CCR Saloon. And on Saturday, it's time for Jamioki. Jamioki is a combination jam session and karaoke. And if you have never done karaoke to a live band, you are in for a treat. Bring your instruments and play along too. Finally this week, let's head over to Creek Ridge Campground in Stockbridge, Michigan. Last month, we told you about their B-movie production weekend where you could hop on the couch to be a big, big star. I know that casting couch. The final edit of the movie has been released. It's called Mantis, and it is a B-movie campy horror schlock at its absolute finest. Do you have a reservation? I'll be a virgin. Look, there he is. So you found them like this this morning? Uh, there's praying mantises. Body's baby, baby, it'll be okay, I promise you. Like, somebody's gonna find out. Creek Ridge always has some of the most inventive and unique theme weekends. This weekend, it is the Great Underwear Caper. Join the men 21 and up of CRC to unravel the mystery with penny raids and underwear trade, the great march to the underwear tree, and a very revealing underwear ball. And that is just a taste of what's going on in gay camping this weekend. 
What are you doing in gay camping this weekend? Did we miss our favorite campground? Let us know in the comments below. You are also, so I'm smart. Going to mispronounce Illinois just to create outrage in the comments. Are you going to say Illinois? Illinois. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't. Benji. You're going to be traveling, and I'm the one who has to deal with the comments. So, yes, but all interaction is good interaction. Just done. <laughs> just done. Waffle fries, sometimes they come and they're like, the waffle fries are just frozen ones out of a bag and the french fries were made from potatoes. And this is, I mean, it's a casino, but like casinos are known for quality food. What's that? TikTok sound where he's like, I want waffle fries. <laughs> I want waffle fries. We landed on half waffle fries, half regular fries. And we should show off Here's a waffle fry. Well, this is a little itty bitty waffle fry. Brendan, opinion? Great. 10 out of 10. So which one's better, waffle fry or regular fry? On taste and flavor and like crunchiness and stuff, not on shape, because obviously waffle wins the on waffle shape. fry. So I think they are literally the exact same. I think they're the same potatoes, just summer cut in one way and summer cut waffle, and then they're cooked the same time in the same thing. They taste exactly the same, except their shape. And the superior crunch of the waffle fry? No, not even. No, I just had like three soft pieces. It just like, naturally, if you have a net. No, so you're discussing waffle fry versus string fry. I'm discussing which of these two has the superior taste. The waffle fry. No! I mean, maybe. Okay. Are you glad we got both? Yeah. Waffle fry. It's a Pac-Man waffle fry. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Mwah. Try that again. Well, you chose to do it as I was trying to put away the neutral bullet. Standing on your tiptoes. How am I supposed to get up there? Just, I can do it without my tiptoes. I just like to. Good morning. Good morning.